everybody, Michael here, Get Fit Over 40. And uh, yeah, we're continuing on this TRT series, this uh, essentially, what am I doing about my health regarding testosterone replacement therapy as I recover from my heart surgery. You're probably hearing some noise, but it's my cancel it out. There's a plane flying over. And so the question kind of is, is uh, I've got this appointment that's in September that I've been waiting for. It's like seven, eight months down the road here. I've been off the TRT completely for quite some time now. And uh, it's really been hitting me hard as I talked about last time. And uh, I thought about hopping on maybe a month of some sort of really short ester testosterone to see if uh, it would help and just sort of get my testosterone up just for a little bit, but not affect blood tests too much in terms of what my, my uh, hormone specialist is going to uh, take a look at, um, you know, pretty much have to be open with him and, or her, I'm not even sure if it's he or she, and let them know what's going on, uh, what I did, because I think they're probably going to know anyways. But uh, the idea is to take it for a very short period of time, not even maybe three weeks, and then um, shut it off and then get my, my levels kind of back to their normal low as they have been. If I were to stay on the testosterone, then it would, uh, it would be affecting those blood results. It's still going to affect them because it'll crash a little bit, but it's pretty much been crashed since uh, for the last several months. So that said, I don't think really it can get much lower either way, but I will, you know, I would be honest, will be honest with the doctor. So I didn't really talk about what I was going to do. I just sort of throwing it out there. And so, yeah, I did, I did hop on something, uh, probably going to only take maybe one more shot of it. So testosterone propanate, and it's a very short ester. It only really kind of hangs around in your system. It's got a half-life of, of 48 hours. So basically, uh, whatever your levels are at on day one, uh, on day, basically day two, they're about half, sorry, it's 48 hour half-life. So two days after the fact, you're gonna be at half. Four days after the fact, you're gonna be at like a quarter where you're at and so on, it goes down. So the idea was um, to do that, get on it, hop off of it, give myself about two weeks or so to totally clear it out of my system so that he'll, the doctor will get pretty much my blood work and what it's kind of looking like. And I did that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be coming off in a couple of days. Now, be honest, all honesty, um, I went in for my heart test like two and a half, three months ago. I was about 175 pounds at that time. It was the lowest I ever got to. That was like a very low, low situation. That was like a one or two day thing. Um, after that, I started training harder. I kind of went back up to 180 just without really doing a lot of training. I was just getting back into it. And over the course of about a month and a half or so, uh, I gained about five pounds and got up to just over 180. So which, sorry, 185, because I was kind of hovering around just around 180, 180 before that, just under 180. And uh, and then after going on the testosterone, you know, I didn't gain like 10 pounds. I probably gained about five to seven pounds because I'm, I'm about 190 right now, just over sometimes, maybe 192 some days, but generally at least 190. And uh, I've been feeling a lot better, obviously. A lot of things are improved. My shoulders, unfortunately, not so much. It looks like I sort of injured the rotator cuff in both of them, and that takes a while to to try to manage and get healed up. It's it's a tough one for sure. I know a lot of a lot of people out there have had rotator cuff issues, uh, so that's that's still really really sore, which affects any bench press, any shoulder press, any lateral raises, any flies. It's just it's obviously uncomfortable. So. Um, but, you know, things like my sex drive, my energy, my mood is all a lot better, obviously. Um, that's and, and strength is definitely up in the muscles that I'm able to train fully, which is like my legs, my arms, my back. Those muscles are, have, have definitely improved. Uh, even when I just started going back to training more before the testosterone, those muscle groups were improving a lot. So... Um, it just went up even more after I get on the testosterone propanate. So, um, which is expected, but like, you know, it, it's not a much of, to, to give you an idea, I take like 50 milligrams, uh, because it's such a short ester. I take it, uh, two to three times a week. Just depends how it works out. 
I take it every two to three days. So I'm gonna say about 120 milligrams a week, which I know for me keeps me in that mid to high, like right in the middle between mid and high. Mid and high. So that's kind of where I wanted to be is just in fairly normal ranges. And that's probably where I would be if I tested while still on it. But I, again, I'm gonna test it uh, basically coming off in a day or two, maybe at the first of the month. And then we'll just let it go because my blood work has to be done around the 14th or 15th. And I want to give myself a full two weeks to um, get this fast acting testosterone out of my system. All right, so that's pretty much it for today. Uh, there's not much else to say. I will um, be keeping you all posted. Hope you're enjoying this interesting camera view. It's the Hover Camera X1 doing its thing. And I hope to use this a lot in the future. Uh, for videos, it can do a lot of different things, not just fly around in front of me. So I'll uh, get some cool shots for you guys. All right. Thanks for watching another GetFitOver40.com video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, take care.